What is up beautiful people, it's your boy Mizko here. Now in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys the exact process on how you can present your design work better so you can land more freelance jobs and potentially even land that full-time role because your portfolio and the way that you're presenting your work is holding you back. So let's get right into it guys. So here we have a very, very simple screen and I've intentionally used a simple screen to start off this example. So you have no excuse and say, oh Mizko, you've already got really good assets to work with. We don't, okay? So I'm gonna jump right in and I'm gonna walk you through the thought process and how I think about things and how we end up with the final. Now, as you can see, I'm setting up my canvas. And the first thing I think about is how do I turn this UI into a more tangible product? Because if we're promoting it, we want people to feel it. We want people to feel like it's real. And utilizing a flat mock-up, this is not that effective. So I utilized a mock-up from the Figma community. You can see that I'm eye-dropping the actual app design to try pick out a color scheme for the actual banner. Now you can see that I've got a dark and a light version because I'm trying to assess which one is more appetizing, which one suits the mood that we want to convey. Now not to say that the, the dark one doesn't look good, I think it looks great, but is it welcoming? Does it make the cafe feel welcoming? Then I'm trying to figure out what sort of graphical assets can I put onto this design to make it a little bit more appealing as well. How do we stimulate those taste buds? How do we get the user engaged? So that's where I'm thinking about using secondary imagery that is relevant to the app that we can sort of retrofit into this banner to make it more engaging. Now you can see that I'm using a website called transparenttextures.com and I'm trying to find a texture that we can overlay on this banner or on this image to make it feel like or resonate the cafe feels and vibes and emotions when we enter the cafe. A little bit rustic, a little bit of those wood textures coming through, but keeping it very subtle because we don't want it to overpower the overall design. Now here I'm duplicating the design and I'm testing the design once again to see which color palette feels right. And we've got a light mode, a dark mode, and then I'm trying to find a middle ground. How do we sort of merge the two together to come up with something a little bit more harmonized so we have the best of both worlds? Perfect, so hopefully by now you have learned how to present your work more effectively. So hopefully you get more clicks. More clicks means more engagements, more engagements means more interest. And when you have more interest, that's potentially landing more leads from potential clients or potentially more interest from employers that will hopefully help you land that role. All right, now if you've made it this far, let me know in the comments below which design do you prefer? And also let me know, would you attend Cafe Mizco? Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video very soon. What the? What the?